see you bought a house here? <laughs> yes, I did. It was a trip. You still own the house? I do own the house. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I, the house owns me, actually. Okay, and how, how is that? Well, because um, after having the house inspected by the inspector, and somebody from the U.S. saying, hey, my insurance company came by. A lot of things uh, were problematic. As soon as I got there, almost, like within four months, I dripped the whole uh, drainage system coming out of the house leading to the city um, drainage because it was um, not functioning properly. The water stopped draining. Wait, this is a VA loan? Mm-hmm. VA loan. So how does it happen that these things are wrong with the house and the VA guarantees your loan? Well, they don't really check, you know, that deeply when they do their little inspection. More, more or less of a walkthrough kind of thing. And the inspectors who, you know, work, I guess my uh, real estate agent got the inspector for me. So here's a tidbit. When you're buying a house, you might want to get your own inspector. Not putting her down or anything, but you probably get a more thorough inspection if you are paying the person <coughs> yourself, I guess. Or if you choose a person. So the American public needs to know that real estate agents are not always working in your best interests. Um, you know, they're in the business of making money first, and I, which I understand. But I mean, obviously, there were some things missed, and you know, they didn't delve deeply into stuff like you or I might delve deeply into if you're doing something for somebody, like getting them a home or whatever. That wasn't written in the contract? Um, what wasn't written in the contract? The repairs. Yeah, the repairs that they knew about, but they, nobody knew about the, um, the, the improper laying of the pipe uh, for my, my plumbing. It was, it was supposed to, you know, when you put pipe uh, that means from your house, it's supposed to go to incline down towards the city drainage. Well, the pipe in my case, whoever put it there, it was completely straight and actually had a little lump in the middle of it. So it's inevitable that after a few months, the, it's gonna back up. And nobody could have lived there and not have experienced that issue. So how's your experience been with the contractors down here in Aden, North Carolina? I can't get a con, I mean, the problem is when you call these people, whether it's a roofer or it's an aluminum siding person, First thing, half the time you can't get a hold of anybody and you leave a message. And so far, I've got one response from a, a siding person he said he was gonna come. He never he never came. And most of the times I've left messages to roofers, they don't call back. One roofer called back, and as soon as I picked up the phone, it it went to I mean it's like it went to message or whatever. So it was like a fake call. He only called to make it look like he called, but he he, he immediately hung up or whatever. So I didn't get a chance to talk to him. So I haven't reached any more roofers yet. And I've been calling on kind of a routine basis, like at least once a week. So what you're saying is there's a shortage of of uh, contractors that can do roofing and. I don't know if it's a shortage or if they're just overwhelmed with the repairs from the, the hurricane a while ago. So, I mean, I know they've got tons of homes that are, that are uh, repaired. But, I mean, at least they can respond and let somebody know that, hey, we can't get to it because of this, that, or the other. You know, so, it's a problem. That sounds like a problem. Do you have any advice for people who would want to move to a small town because it's the cheaper cost of living? Well, you better make sure that you, when you buy your house, you probably better make sure you got a lot of money put away if it's an old house for repairs. Or you might consider buying maybe a newer house. Now, I live pretty cheaply with my, my house, so that's a good thing. But uh, if I had to put away a little money uh, for a rainy day, then it might be a problem. So. How bad is it raining on your house right now? What do you mean, how bad is it? Is it raining right this minute? 
You said you put away money for a rainy day. Oh, Just how bad is it raining? It's raining pretty bad when it rains because it leaks my roof on the... Oh, yeah. Another thing I would say, if you're buying a house, especially an older house, uh, don't buy one that has an extension that has a flat roof because apparently a flat roof sooner or later is going to leak. How long have you had to leak your roof? That roof has been leaking for years. And I mean, it's not something that just happened. It's been leaking for years. When I came in there, the, the ceiling just kind of had a little bubble in it. And they, the, the people that work with the real estate agent supposedly came in and fixed it. They went up there and you know sprinkled some fairy dust up to there on the roof. <laughs> took some pictures and said they fixed it. Well, they never fixed it. So me and my lady, we pulled the ceiling down and we found out that there's a significant problem. There's rotting wood up there. You can see where the wood leaks uh, uh, when it rains hard. So that's not not a new issue. That's been a problem for a while. And, you know, it had to have been known. There's no way that that, you know, wasn't known. So, my laws, I guess. Are you aware of the North Carolina real estate buyer beware law? I am now. Okay. Well, anyway, that's something we're working on. We'll continue to work on, but this is my little video. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you.